You really can't appreciate all the hard work that goes into making a great marching band until you've endured a band camp like Henry Clay's. sun, the sun burns, and, but it's all worth it once we start winning contests and getting superiors. This is the first year of band camp I had, and it's been kind of rough, but I've heard it's been worse because it's been hotter and stuff, but it's actually not that bad. Director Debbie Shelton runs a tight ship. And what happens to those who stray from the beaten path? Much better, much better. I think everybody likes Batman a whole lot. Um, we, you know, of course, we made some changes on on the closer and. Um, different things, but I think everybody really likes Batman, and it's just an action-packed opener, so it's a really great show. The first song that we actually selected was Batman, and that was the reason we went with movie ideas, because that was our biggest number of production number, and I guess we put a lot of our um, efforts into our opener, and from there, everything just slid into place. My legs are very tired, and I just want to go home and go to sleep. Um, I'm usually sunburnt, um, hungry, and just I just want to go home, take a shower, and just go to bed. Give me one word to describe band camp. It's hard. Um, can I say two? Hard work, but it all pays off, though. Rewarding. Rewarding. You can work up a pretty hefty appetite at a Henry Clay band camp. What's the old saying? Work hard, play hard? Yes, don't get me. They kicked her out. She's in my shirt. She got it wet for five seconds. Now she has to get it out. Now she has to get out. So why'd they kick you out? They kicked her out because she's swimming in her clothes. I got in because I got pushed in. You didn't get pushed in. She got in. It takes a big budget to support the Henry Clay Band, 
And this is just one of the ways band members and their parents raised money. In the evenings, band moms turned the band room into a sewing center. I don't know. We're making bat wings. How many are you going to make? Well, there are eight girls with bat wings, so we have to make eight sets. Each girl has two wings, of course, so. Maybe it won't take as long tonight. Henry Clay's first contest was at Madison Central High School in Richmond. Right this way. Hey, Amy, take it about 10 yards and stop. Clarinet! Henry Clay had a lot of inexperienced band members, and the upperclassmen knew they had to provide plenty of encouragement. by the Madison Central Band Boosters and presented by Amy Singleton with a superior rating, Henry Clay High School.
Henry Clay also won awards for Best Field Commander, Best Auxiliary, and Best Percussion. The next weekend, the band traveled across town to Brian Station's contest. The weather was miserable. It rained all day. But the band was excited because E.T. was ready to close the show. You know, everybody gets really hyped and, you know, we finished the show, we finished the show, and so, you know, performing it, it just, it just feels good. It's a, it's just a big um, thrill, big rush, it's hard to describe. In the prelims, Henry Clay won first place with a superior rating, best music, best visual performance, best overall effect, best auxiliary, and best percussion. For the evening finals, the field was a quagmire of mud. Oh, geez, it was a real experience, um, especially for the freshmen. Nobody had ever marched in that bad of conditions and it was like marching on ice with shoes. <laughs> it was terrible. I mean, you just had to really concentrate. It was pretty bad. After the bands played in the finals, the crowd got to hear a special performance. And now keep your seats, ladies and gentlemen, as the mighty sound of the Southeast, the Carolina Band, presents musical highlights from some of the recent arrivals at your local video rental store. Our show begins with a title tune from Robin Hood, the Prince of Thieves.
Then it was time for the awards. The second place trophy sponsored by Ruth Ann Palumbo and presented by Kevin Harris goes to Henry Clay High School. Senior night is always one of the highlights of the football season. And senior night, you know, you, you're always over there. The past two years, I've been watching the seniors go through the thing, and and tonight I actually went through it, and it was it was awesome. Henry Clay's next contest was in Jessamine County. The day had gotten off to a rough start when some of the students were late to the rehearsal at the high school. But when the bus is unloaded near Nicholasville, the band was ready to perform. Gentlemen, a superior rating to Henry Clay. The band won awards for Best Auxiliary, Best Field Commander, Best Percussion, and was also named Reserve Grand Champion. Uh, Dunbar scored a 95, you scored a 93.
The road to Murfreesboro began at the University of Kentucky. All right, let's play it. Get the sound up here. When you get your bells to the box, this is the box up here. The high tower at the Shively practice field gave director Debbie Shelton an excellent view of the intense practice. Almost there with winds. You're just about getting it. Let's do it several times so you feel comfortable with that turn. Much better with winds. Let's hear it. The field also gave the kids some practice marching on AstroTurf. Soon it was time to load the buses and head south for a very important contest. Yeah, competitions. It's really intense, a lot more than anything else around here. And when you get out there, it's just sort of like everything, you're just so concentrating, everything just sort of blanks out, all the crowd and everything, you're just concentrating so good on your show. It's a really intense show. Good luck. Thanks. Bright and early the next morning, the band used a parking lot as a makeshift practice area. It takes a lot of support from band parents to make a trip like this possible. Well, the Band Boosters organization is here to help the kids in any way we can. We help them get dressed, we help get their uniforms ready. Uh, on the day that they have their contests, we're there for anything that they need. We follow the band, you know, wherever they go. Uh, take the uniforms, the instruments, and all the podium equipment and our big flag and load and unload it and get it back on the truck when we're through and uh, take it to our, wherever we're going. After the morning practice, it was time to return to the motel and quickly get ready for the afternoon competition. The Middle Tennessee State University Stadium is an outstanding place for bands to perform, and the Contest of Champions is one of the premier competitions in the country. When Henry Clay took the field, the hometown faithful shouted their approval.
The band was disappointed because they didn't make the finals, but Henry Clay did get a superior rating. We made finals last year, and so it was sort of a disappointment. Um, we'll probably go to Murfreesboro next year, so there are a lot of us have another chance. I just felt bad for the seniors because this was their last year. But, you know, we all still had fun. No matter where we go or what we do, we all have fun. When the marching season began, a trip to Indianapolis was not on the schedule. I'll never forget the weekend that we discovered that we had not sent in the form for state. Um, it was just devastating to me, mainly because I, had, I kept it to myself and did not want to um, upset any of the parents or the kids at the time that I, I found it out and we had a Friday night ball game. And uh, it was one of the worst weekends of my life. Lots of tears shed of how in the world I can, uh, could stand in front of the band and tell them of this, of this error. And it was so fortunate, and I talked to um, some of my colleagues here in town and made some phone calls. And even though it was very much past the deadline that was set on August 1st, we were able to get invited to the Grand Nationals at the Hoosier Dome. And it just, it just was a great situation. I think if, um, if I could have planned the year out in advance and, and known what we had known once we had gone through that, um, gone through the Hoosier Dome and the Grand Nationals, we probably would have gone there in the first place. It was just absolutely a great trip, and it worked out super. The band finished 23rd out of 64, and the color guard finished 11th. A great showing at a national contest. We've never done that before, and, and just experiencing it for the first time was just, it was, you know, it was phenomenal. It was, it was incredible. You just can't get over the feeling that you had, the rush that people were seeing you, and you're on camera, and it's just, it was a natural high that you can't get over. Henry Clay's marching season came to an end. It had been a challenging season, one that they'll always remember and look back at with pride. This performance with trumpet soloist Vince DiMartino was one of the highlights of the concert season. Henry Clay took two extremely difficult selections to contest and received a superior rating at the KMEA District Festival and an excellent rating at state.
the reason um, we picked the music Tulsa by Don Gillis and Suite of All American Dances. This is a very talented group, but um, and we worked together to to pick this really hard music. When once we got into the music, there was a point that we thought we weren't going to make it. About three weeks before spring break, I'll never forget it. We just were almost ready to get rid of the music. When they came back after spring break, it was like a different band. You just I, we couldn't believe how much improvement it made. The music is a lot more challenging, and you just it takes a lot more time to learn it but it's really it gives you something to work for and it makes you a lot better <laughs>
Being in Winter Guard takes a lot of dedication, hard work. And it takes a lot of time, but afterwards it's all, it's all worth it. And you feel proud about what you've done. It was probably the most the fun trip, the best trip I've had since I've been here at Henry Clay. Um, we did a lot more than um, we usually do. We went to MGM, went to Disney World. Went, the first day we were down there, we went to Waterworks, which was a water park, and it was really fun. The Winter Guard won first place at the Music Fest in Orlando, and the Symphonic Band received an excellent rating. Throughout the year, the band members had a goal of doing a better job of getting along with each other and the Florida trip proved to be a turning point. We had a, a serious situation happen. We had some money stolen from eight of our, or I guess 15 of our students in Florida. Eight, eight rooms were robbed. And it was just incredible how the students handled that situation. Um, we had to wait for a policeman to come and file a report and we were supposed to be going to the beach that day. When you have a hundred teenagers just ready to get to the beach and the ones that were on the bus were worried about the kids that were sitting in the lobby and the ones in the lobby were worried about holding up the kids going to the beach and they just really cared about each other. And I think that's what's important to note is band is about being a family, about loving each other and working together and that's when I knew that we finally had done it. In May, the Henry Clay Music Department hosted its annual Pops concert, featuring good music, good food, and of course, creative table decorations. Thank <laughs> you. 
Another highlight of the concert was a performance by the Henry Clay Jazz Ensemble. The jazz ensemble has always been a, a special medium to me. Um, it was music that I grew up with. Um, big band music was always played at my house. My father was a big aficionado of, of jazz music. I found out that when I was going to school that that was my main interest was being uh, a big band lead trumpet player. And I am just hoping to share some of my experiences with the students and, hope them, and help them appreciate and grow with that particular medium. Yeah, I think it's great. It, it gives you like a variety of things to play. It's not just like the same things that we play in concert season and there's different instrumentation like we play with a bass player, a drummer and piano player, which, you know, you couldn't get that kind of rhythm section with the regular concert band. The spring band banquet gave the parents, students and staff one final moment of fellowship. It was a time to pay tribute to the 92-93 Henry Clay Band, especially those who were leaving. And this is our senior class. Let's give them a big round of applause. This is the Louis Armstrong Jazz Award. Louis Armstrong being a father of jazz, and it reads, in recognition of outstanding achievement by an instrumentalist in the field of jazz, as demonstrated by superior musicianship, character, and individual creativity, I'd like to present this award to Chad Clark. In recognition of outstanding achievement in interest in instrumental music, for singular merit in loyalty and cooperation, and for displaying those high qualities of conduct that school instrumental music requires. The two John Philip Sousa award winners go to our two next year music majors, Scott Stauffer and Rie Mihara. And the seniors had a little something for their favorite director. And we came up with about a million suggestions, but we have to credit Scott with this one. I think it's something she can really use, and if you beg her enough, she'll probably share it with you. Uh-oh. Yeah, it's very handy during band camp. I should have better shoot basketball. Don't you dare. It's a foot massager. <laughs> To our seniors, our graduating class of 1993, I don't know if I can do this without crying, guys, because you're very, very special to me. We have a, a small graduating class, but just even with a couple of you, you've been with me for a long time. Um, I've been teaching here for eight years, and some of you have been in my bands for that long a time. I'm gonna, we're really going to miss you. I made lots of friends in this band, and I have lots of memory of this band also. So it, it's a reason I miss Ben. I was really looking forward to my senior year, and it's really been a good year, but it seems like it's gone by real fast. And I wish I had 
couple more years in band because it's been so much, such a big part of my life. The Henry Clay Band video was sponsored by Don Wilson Music Lexington and the Selmer Company, Elkhart, Indiana. This has been a presentation of Gerlach Productions.